And she was one of the most formidable and controversial figures in UK history. But does our first ever female Prime Minister, the Iron Lady, really deserve this? Within hours of Baroness Margaret Thatcher's highly contested statue being lowered into Grantham yesterday after two years of delays, it was allegedly pelted with eggs by 59-year-old Job Jeremy Webster, the petty vandal who was the deputy director of the University of Leicester's Attenborough Arts Centre, dubbed himself the egg thrower online after reportedly putting out a call to arms for more acts of disrespect towards the £300,000 monument vetoed from its original planned site at Westminster amid fears of civil disobedience and vandalism, the embattled statue was instead offered to Baroness Thatcher's hometown in Lincolnshire, where it now stands on a 10-foot high plinth for its protection. But with the lack of diversity among monuments in Parliament Square, something campaigners have long been raising, should the Margaret Thatcher statue actually be moved there so it can take pride of place at Westminster? Let me know your thoughts by emailing dan at gbnews.uk. Tweet me at gbnews. We've got our poll running there too. But weighing in on this now, welcome to the comedy legend Jim Davidson, the political activist Kate Smirthwaite, and the former Conservative Minister Edwina Curry. Edwina, it seems absolutely mad to me that this statue is in Grantham and not in Westminster. I absolutely agree. Um, I don't like the statue. I have to say it looks like she's wearing a dressing gown. Um, and I think the greatest indignity was uh, putting it on the plinth by having a, a rope around her neck, which is going to be one of the uh, the key images that we see from oh, there. Oh, it was onwards. horrible. Uh, that was just awful, awful, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, uh, to be fair, there is one of Margaret in Westminster, and there's also a picture of it in my downstairs bathroom, and I say hello to her several times a day. Um, and it's a lovely one because it's got her finger wagging which is, uh, which is great. She's doing that to all the MPs as they go into the House of Commons and saying, don't you misbehave or whatever. Um, but yes, when you actually walk round London, central London, Dan, what you become aware of is, is there are a lot of statues, but they're mostly blokes. They're mostly from the 19th century. They're mostly soldiers. They're mostly on horses and nobody's ever heard of them. They probably hadn't been heard of even at the time that the statue went up. There are very few statues of women and if we are going to put up more statues of women, then I think we should start with Margaret. And it'd be absolutely great to have her outside the House of Commons lecturing everybody. <laughs> Kate Smirthwaite, you're a big time feminist. Presumably you want our first female prime minister, pride of place at Westminster too, right? Well, I'm a big human rights activist, Dan, as you know, and so I think that we should move the statue to Grantham and put it where it rightly belongs, which is at the bottom of the Thames. Um, this is the woman who brought in Section 28, some of the most disgusting um, setbacks to the rights of gay and lesbian people around the UK. This is the person who privatised the utilities, which is exactly why we now have a cost of living crisis where energy prices are going through the roof and energy companies are, are private companies. They're making an absolute fortune and we're not building a nationalised energy grid. This is somebody who, you know, saw the, the sell off of council housing. That means we've now got a shortage of social housing around the country. This is somebody who had ongoing attacks on our benefit system. I would love to see more statues of women around the country. I couldn't agree with Edwina Moore that there are way too many statues of, you know, military leaders and lots and lots of men. And what we should do is put up statues of the brilliant women who have done brilliant things to support their fellow humans around, around the country. And obviously, Margaret Thatcher is not one of them. She's the exact opposite of that. Like, it does nothing for me as a woman to see a statue of somebody who, you know, despite making such progress herself, did, did absolutely nothing for women's Jim, rights. Jim Davidson, in power. Jim Davidson, so Kate Smirthwaite says she wants Thatcher at the bottom of the Thames. Your response? As long as she swims down there with it to put it there. That's I great. think that would sort me out, really. Yeah, well, it's absolute nutters about, aren't they? This was one of the greatest prime ministers we've ever had. And of course, that lady there, where her name is, didn't agree uh, with that. Uh, she's got to be thrown to the bottom of the... Why don't we pull all the statues down, get a big ladder and take Nelson down as well? And we just put up women and people that are nice to people. This is our history. These people are Gosh. great people. Why shouldn't Margaret Thatcher be next to the great Winston Churchill and the equally great Nelson Mandela? 
tell me that. This is crazy. Kate? This is madness. The world's gone I think to equate bonkers. Margaret Thatcher with Nelson Mandela is disgusting. You know, somebody is who it? campaigned for equality. I mean, Margaret Thatcher... Uh, she, she didn't stand up to apartheid in quite the way that one might have hoped. She wasn't actually on the same side as Nelson Mandela. When he was in Robben Island, when he was in prison fighting for his basic human rights, we can't put those two into the same bracket. Of course, we should go round and look at whose statues are up there. And I think it's brilliant that we've already taken action to get rid of some of the horrendous um, slave owners and really horrific statues that we've got up there. And we should be challenging Kate, what's like going on me, and putting up statues. You don't you want like, anyone to like, be celebrated I, well, whose want, political views you don't agree with. But it's not a question of, of whose political views I don't agree with. Who was responsible for people's human rights being taken away, for people's lives being made harder, for some of the crisis that we're still living through, for, for gay and Edwina, lesbian Edwina, do you want to respond to some of, some of that attack on Thatcher? Right. Uh, yeah, all I, all I can hear is bile against a uh, Conservative Prime Minister. I don't hear any respect or any recognition. No, I've got no Margaret respect Thatcher for her. Was, yeah, no, no Hanya, you, you had your go. It's somebody else's go It's called the clash, now. Edwina. You're going to have to deal with the fact that sometimes I talk at the same time as you. I expect you experienced no, it no, in the I'm Commons. Not, no, 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 you, no. One of the things you don't do is you don't talk at the same time as me because actually I've been at it a lot longer than you have and I'm better at it than you are. Uh, You're Margaret still wrong, Thatcher, though. Our You're still not on the side of truth and justice, so it doesn't matter how long you've been fighting for people to have a worse life. Oh, it doesn't idiot. make you a better person you're for it. I, I don't mind who is the better you're debater. I don't mind who is the politer. I am on the side of human oh, rights, wow. truth and justice. And, what? yeah, I'm absolutely really happy that, with that. If you are really that keen. Dan, give me the, give me the microphone just for a minute. If she's really that keen on equality and all the rest of it, why doesn't she have a go at the Labour Party that have never managed to elect a woman as leader? I, 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 I haven't come on here as a member of the Labour Party or a particular supporter of the Labour Party. It's just that, that weird thing that if you criticise a Conservative politician, they're like, well, you must be in favour of everybody else. No, I have all sorts of criticisms of other parties, that's but that's not, that's not going to deal with the issue in hand. And the issue in hand is should we have a, a statue up of somebody who supported the disgusting Section 28 legislation that pushed gay and lesbian rights in this country. Jim Davidson, you come in. Jim, come in. Right. Can I just say something? My, my TV station has just recorded all the big stars of the Falklands War, the real heroes of this country, mm. and each one of those task force people should have their own statue. They all idolised Mrs Thatcher. They fought a war... Right, led by Mrs. Thatcher. They all idolised her. You can see it on my TV station. So come and try and pull that down. I'll if give we're going to celebrate it's people ridiculous. who kill people. She's loved by many people, but just not you. That doesn't make you right and everyone else wrong. And Edwina, you must be really it's fed a coincidence, up. Then. People throwing your eggs. <laughs> if you remember all that. <laughs> we don't talk Edwina about Edwina and eggs, Jim. That's still a sensitive subject. <laughs> Well, at least I was on the right side with that as well. I mean, I think it is offensive to be claiming to be a supporter of equal rights and wanting to see more women recognised and so on, and then not having a go at those political parties. There is actually only one in the United Kingdom that still has never elected a woman despite having... Uh, as leader, despite having numerous and repeated opportunities. So have a but go. I, I this is ridiculous. This is not what the, the debate party. is about. If you want to have a debate about whether the Labour Party should have a female leader, you get me in and I absolutely will support that. But I think it should not just be a female leader, but it would, should be someone who actually supports women's rights, LGBT but rights, Kate who supports Smith, human rights, who supports Kate asylum Kate seekers. Smith, wait, what I'm seeing a lot of at the moment. Abusing things Kate, Kate, that Kate, this Kate, Conservative Party up, has been doing Kate, for decades and decades on the Kate, I've got something to, to say. Yeah, what I'm yeah, seeing yeah. at the moment, Kate, is a lot of intolerance from the left. You only want yeah, to I'm celebrate sure. oh, people. You only I want people to exist you, who you I agree am, with. Oh, oh, Dan, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I am massively, massively intolerant of racists, sexists, homophobes, bigots, everybody who is out there making people's lives worse. I am absolutely intolerant of those who allowed thousands to die unnecessary in the, unnecessarily in the pandemic. I am intolerant of those who pushed ahead with austerity measures that have killed hundreds of thousands of people. I am intolerant of those who continue to let the most vulnerable people in our society oh, suffer because of the cost 
cost of living crisis and do nothing about it while the wealthy pay more that? and more money. Yes, Stan. Yes, yes, yes. I am wholly intolerant of those people and proud to be so. Oh, she's just a finger-wagging idiot. How about oh, Russia? Oh, there you go. Margaret Thatcher was a hero for wagging her fingers. Gone? But guess what? All of a sudden, if I do it on the side of truth and justice, I'm the Wicked Witch of the West. Well, hand me my broomstick. Yes, I'm are. so you're proud to be here lobby. on the side of truth I'm and justice. Anybody else, you're just like so many people. Your opinion is one that shouldn't be argued with. Well, everybody knows it's my opinion that shouldn't be argued with. And Dan's and Edwina's. <laughs> Get a life. She's the Prime Minister. I'd put one about she, Wilson. She's not actually the Prime Minister in. anymore. You're a couple of, uh, couple of uh, decades okay, and a Kate, bit out what, what of date. In, in a lot May. of ways, to be honest. Kate, what yeah, about yeah, Theresa yeah, yeah, May? Yeah. Would you be happy for there to be a statue of Theresa May, another female Prime Minister, or are you going to find a reason... Uh, to say that she shouldn't be celebrated too. I think that her treatment of asylum seekers was absolutely disgusting and it led to people's deaths, didn't it? So, no, no thanks. I've got, you know, you want me to bring you a list of people whose statues should be put up. I've got a great big list, Dan. I've got all sorts of wonderful people. Human rights campaigners. Let's put up a statue of, you know, people who've, who've run successful campaigns to actually support human rights around the UK. Wouldn't that be brilliant? Get yeah. rid of some of the military personnel no, up there. Be brilliant. And put be up silly. statues of people who really Here's deserve some of the ones people celebrating. Want Dan. Nelson? Uh, Earl Mountbatten and Christopher Columbus. What's he done? Christopher mm. Columbus. Christopher Columbus. America. Gandhi, so they want Gandhi so torn Native down Americans. too. Americans, what has he done? You genuinely Edwina, done come in. Like, wow. Yeah. My Edwina, blow. come yeah. in here. Look, what has Christopher what, Columbus what, done? What this, Haradan, what this noisy Haradan wants is people That's who are very campaigning. sexist language. I thought you what, were a, a supporter like of women's rights, Edwina. <laughs> oh, do shut up, you <laughs> silly woman. Um, what Great, I would yeah, like you're making yourself look like the hero here. And the people in government <laughs> are those who actually take the decisions and actually bring the changes, like the improvements yeah. in human rights, like the improvement in living standards. Yeah, but she's, she pushed gay rights back government. with Section 28, that's, that's my point. That we should recognise, and those are okay. the people that we should honour, not Kate, just the people who make the Kate noise. Smirthwave, I'm sure you accept that all historical figures need to be looked at on the whole. They have good points. They have bad points. Yeah. Can you say anything positive about Margaret Thatcher? Oh, you know, she had nice hair and a nice voice. I mean, you know, it was exciting that we had a woman in charge of the country. And, and I mean, I wasn't, I, don't, I wasn't, I'm not old enough to remember when she first came to power, but it must have felt very empowering for women to think, oh, gosh, there's a woman who's running the country. And they must have thought, I really hope she takes steps to improve the lot of women in the UK. And sadly, she didn't do that. Sadly, once she was there, she did very, very little for women's rights. And in fact, then pushed back on, on gay rights and pushed back on all sorts of issues. And, and okay, I think so what you'll probably overlook is just the by being there, you know? she did so much for women's rights. But she did more than that. But she did more than that. She must have been very inspiring, years. and we should have during women in it. Edwina, final word to you. Yeah, uh, just during those years, if we may, we made huge improvements in other areas. I mean, for example, I was a health minister. We brought in breast cancer screening for women nationwide, and that saved many thousands of lives. We brought in cervical cancer screening for women. We, did, we were the first country in the world to have both those screening programs for the health of women. And now first the Conservative the government world, is done under absolutely mind-bogglingly okay. destroying the NHS. Thank you so NHS. much, all. And all of that stuff is going up in smoke. Thank so you. That is I hope you're fighting the against political that activist Kate Smirthwaite, the comedy legend Jim Davidson, and the former Tory minister, Edwina Curry.